Hey everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a video showing you how to calibrate the Time More Black Fear Plus coffee scale. Um, earlier today I was trying to make coffee and I took out the scale like I usually do, turned it on, and it actually popped up with an error code where on the bottom right where the weight is usually indicated, it showed an error C code. And so looking on Google and Reddit and things like that, um, usually this occurs when this scale actually enters calibration mode and does not ultimately get calibrated. I didn't have that happen or anything, um, but what we'll do in this video is we'll try to walk through calibrating the scale using kind of household items that I weighed out. Um, it's usually easier with calibration weights, um, but a lot of you do not have that. And so really in order to calibrate this, you'll need a separate scale um, that you'll weigh out different items to different quantities and then you'll actually walk through the calibration process. And so we'll hopefully walk through this, fix the scale. If not, I'll just trash it um, or reach out to the company and get a replacement. It's been about a year and I believe there is a one year warranty on this. So it'll be hit or miss on whether I could just get it replaced if I run into issues. Um, but we'll walk through the calibration process now. Okay, so this is a Time War Black Mirror Plus coffee scale. I've had this for about a year and up until now I've had absolutely no issues. And I really like it a lot because it has a good battery life, it's rechargeable, and it works really well for weighing out coffee as well as water for French press coffee as well as pour over coffee. Um, the issue I ran into earlier today though was when I turned it on, um, basically on the bottom right corner here, it would pop up an error where it said error C. And in looking on Google as well as Reddit, it basically shows that, or says that um, when you see that error, it means that somehow the scale had entered calibration mode but was not actually calibrated. I didn't really enter calibration mode, but either way, that's the issue and the scale wouldn't function. It's not showing it up now because I've entered calibration mode, so the scale is basically inactive. Um, but the, there's several solutions here is if you're less than one year um, from purchase, you can go through their warranty to get a replacement or you can calibrate the scale. Time War on YouTube does have a video that shows you how to calibrate it using traditional calibration weights. I don't have those and they're generally decently expensive to the point where you could probably just buy a separate scale for that price. Um, so I chose not to purchase them. Um, but I did happen to have a separate coffee scale where I weighed out different items in quantities of 20 grams, 100 grams, 500 grams, one point or one gram or, or one, sorry, one uh, kilogram, um, 1.5 kilograms and two kilograms. And that's the weights you'll need. But you will need a separate scale in order to weigh these things out. If you don't have a scale, you're kind of out of luck from that standpoint. Um, but we'll walk through the process now. Um, so first off, you'll turn off the scale, um, then you'll turn it back on, you'll hold down the timer button on the left hand side and then tap the right five times, one, two, three, four, five, and then it should cycle through this kind of display right here, and then it'll show which weight to add in sequence. So first off will be 100, um, which is this cup here with water in it. Next up is 500, which is this glass cup with water in it. And next up is going to be 1.5 grams or kilograms, which is going to be this large container with water in it, which is like a glass Trader Joe's um, like green tea container. Um, then it's going to cycle through the sequence of F1 through 8. Um, I've tried this multiple times. We'll see if it's successful this time. But first off, you're going to apply 20 grams onto the scale. It doesn't have to be the center. Then you're going to basically take it off. You're going to put the 20 grams back in the center of the scale like that. And then you're going to take that off and then you're actually going to put the 500 grams directly in the middle of the scale. All right, F3 is going to be, you're going to take the 500 grams and put it on the right hand side of the scale. F4 is going to be, um, put the 500 grams on the top of the scale. F5 is going to be 500 grams on the left hand side of the scale. And then F6 is going to be 500 grams on the bottom of the scale. Okay. And then F7, um, I believe what you do is, I struggled with this, so bear with me. You put one gram in the middle of the scale, and you should just let it sit for a period of time, and then it should pop up and show F8, um, but I haven't had that work. We'll check in a second. Um, the other option is basically have the, the one gram or one kilogram on, and then I believe you just put the two kilograms on directly 
and let it sit until it pops up, yeah, and pops up as F, uh, ends. So that's all you have to do. So basically that last F to F7 step, you put the one, gra one gram in the middle and then switch it out for two grams, and then you should be good to go. And so we'll turn off the scale, we'll turn it back on and see whether this worked. And there you go. So it's worked in, working fine now. Um, it's back functioning. Whether it's accurate or not, I'm not entirely sure. We'll just put these items on just to see. So that's off, like it's about 20. This was the 100. So this is the 500. Yeah, so it's probably off a little bit like 0 0.1, 0 0.2 as compared to what it was before. Um, however, for me personally, that's not as big a deal because I'm not, like I'm ha I'd be happier with the scale functioning rather than having it broken. Um, but that's the steps here. So basically all you need is a separate scale. Weigh out these items of 20 grams, 100, 500, uh, one, one point one or one kilogram, 1.5, and then two, 2,000. And then you cycle through this process and that's how to fix it. And so hopefully this video is helpful for those of you that run into that error code. There wasn't a great video on this, so I'm hoping it's helpful. Um, but if you have questions, comments, post them below. And thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel as well.